Don, where are you from? Spain National Bar, East Texas. East Texas? East Texas. Yeah, I want to show you something over here. You tell me what you think it is. Over here in the briefing area. Chicken box or chicken lay the eggs in. You ever seen something like that? Yeah. Where'd you see that? Uh, on a farm. Mm -hmm. Do they have chickens? Yeah, they have chickens. Or anything so they nest, nesting box. Nesting box. Yeah. How do you think it might be used on a fire? I don't have no idea. You ever seen one on a fire before? No. Tim Moore. Where are you from? Everglades National Park in Florida. Oh, have you ever seen something like this before? Yes, I'm from a farm where the chickens, you know, lay the eggs at. Anything else you've seen something like this before? Just uh, mainly animals, huh? Yes, animals. Maybe birds and chickens and that. Now, how do you think we might be able to use that here at the ICP or the IC, uh, uh, Incident Command Base? Well, I think we would move it from here and take it to some farm somewhere. Some, a farmer may need it. No. <laughs> Sharon, please. Sharon, what are you doing here? I am a driver for ground support. Okay. No, <laughs> um, a mailbox. A mailbox. Yeah. Okay. And have you seen one anything like that used anywhere else? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bob. I'm Bob from. Boggy Bottom, Oklahoma. And what we have here is, is keeping in the uh, spirit of the going green. <clears throat> what we've had here is we've had the carpenter design the specially made state of the art pigeon coop. And what we're going to use this for is when you're out at this, this will be located at ICP. Now, when you go out into the field, we will put our little pigeons in a cage. And while you're out there, and you need to get a message back to ICP, you will tie the message to the leg of the pigeon, and the pigeon will return to its nest. And by doing that, we'll be going green, uh, we'll eliminate the possibility of the, of the uh, radios going down, or whatever it is. It'll be an all-weather station here. The only thing we have to worry about is hawks. Hawks are a little tough, and they can't hurt pigeons. But if you see, we have a nest here, and this is where we're getting our new recruits. That uh, they hatch out every 28 days, and they'll be ready to fly in about six weeks. So we'll have an interending supply of homing pigeons. And I know that the incident commander, yes, uh, he will really appreciate this and embrace it. And the carpenter that we had built this is taking great care as to build this to spec. So a pigeon will fit in there comfortably. <laughs> they will land on the counter over there. It's where we can take the message and have a runner run over to ICP and give it to the party who needs it. So, as I say, we in Boggy Bottom, Oklahoma, pride ourselves in the state-of-the-art pigeon coop. These are carrier pigeons. And especially trained and they always know where to go. And right now they're circling around, exercising, so they'll be ready to go as soon as possible. Chirp, chirp, chirp. I know some people talk about maybe going this direction. Have you That's right, I got the same thing. Do the same thing. So what do you think? What, what was that about a chicken what? coop? <laughs> what? What'd you say? I know some people are talking that maybe 
burning this direction. Have you heard? Some people was talking with a baby. Mm -hmm.